Well, now that we have the basic scrunch fold done, let's move on a little bit farther to something that you can use in all of your tie dyeing, and that's known as the accordion fold. And just imagine an accordion opening and closing, and that profile from the front of the accordion, that kind of uh, zigzagged profile. Now we're going to put that on fabric and taking that, you'll, once you learn how to do a nice accordion fold, you'll be able to really make tie-dye like the pros. You'll be able to tie-dye at all levels. An accordion fold is used in almost all tie-dye techniques and we're just going to do a straight line right down the middle of this shirt. This shirt is wet. It came out of the washing machine. It's still wet. Uh, it's not soaking wet. It's pretty uniform. But we're going to add a little bit more water with a spray bottle so the top layer of the shirt sticks to the bottom layer of the shirt during folding. Now just to show you kind of where my line is, I'm going to use a ruler on my piece here. And I've drawn a red line with a heat transfer pencil. And that'll show you an example of, of my line that I'm going to be folding right up the middle of the shirt. So we're going to start at one end of any piece of fabric and we're going to kind of take a pinch. Now your first fold will set the size of the other folds. So you want to keep them between a half inch and an inch maximum. But try to keep it as small as possible because that way you have real nice uniformly accordion folded pieces going up your piece. And you can see that my reddish line is going to, we're going to follow along that and try to keep that all lined up. So we just, we push the fabric into itself and we make these kind of accordion type folds just like an accordion stretching out or in. Now this is tie-dye, it's fun, it doesn't have to be perfect but we want to show that this fold is very important, this accordion fold to use in almost all tie-dye patterns. So it's a combination of actually pushing the fabric and pulling the other portion close to you. Push, pull. And you can always stop, clean it up a little bit. I'm going to wrap the string around this, this fold here, this accordion fold, and bind it in a certain way that when I put the die, I'll know exactly where I'm putting the die to get my color effects. Slide that string underneath the shirt, tie it, pull it together tight. It doesn't have to be very tight, but just enough to hold together. And then I'm going to wrap it around using my finger and sliding along the table and pull that a little tighter using the finger and I've just made a nice band where I'm going to put one color right in there during the dyeing process. We'll do that a few more times. There's two colors, one color here, one color there. So this string's actually doing two things for us. One, it's holding the fabric together so when we tie dye it we're going we're to create a pattern. Two, it's also telling us where we're going to put our color. A color in each of these, these parallel bands. And I'm just using my finger down on the string and wrapping it under the shirt. Now at this point what we have here is an accordion fold across the shirt and we have a couple options with all this leftover fabric. We can do two things. We can either leave it open and when we do the dyeing, we can put some dye in and blend the dye together. Or we can do something which we already know how to do, and that's the scrunch. So all we need to do then is take this extra fabric here, and let's just do a little scrunch on that. Right around where the accordion fold stops, sometimes we need to get in there a little bit more and scrunch that up. But let's just do our scrunch right at the end of our accordion fold. Remember we call that the chaos or the scrunch portion of the fabric or the t-shirt. So we've now actually done three patterns. We've done the scrunch, we've done the accordion, and combining those we've done a third. The combination of the two. We're just tying that up so it holds together and keeps our scrunch. And we still have one portion of the fabric we need to scrunch up and use the string just to bind it. It doesn't have to be very tight but tight enough to hold our piece together, our fabric. And that should do it for that. We'll cut our string. And just tie it to the other end of the string, or any other piece of string you can tie it to. And we've now done a beautiful accordion fold, and you can see when you actually look in how nice and clean that fold is.
those folds are relatively the same size. They don't have to be perfect. Tie-dye is very forgiving in that way. We're going to put a color in there, color in there, color in there. And maybe even different or maybe the same colors on the opposite side. So we have a nice scrunch pattern on the sides and a nice accordion fold down the middle. And that line can either be in the middle of a shirt, at a diagonal. You can very uh, highly fluctuate that line. 